Whew, what's going on guys? Um, been away for a little bit. Sorry about that. I've been working. It's been really hot. We've had heat advisories around here in Southern Idaho, so bad excuses I know. But today, got the trusty yak, got my poles, got some bass bait because I did a poll on Facebook and Instagram and y'all wanted to see some bass fishing. So we're going down to the Snake River um, to Shoshone Falls State Park. No, I lied just then. Twin Falls falls state park and we're gonna go all the way back to where just the creek kind of runs into the river i guess it's still technically the snake river it's just really skinny and there's some really good bass fishing so we're gonna go and do that we're not gonna waste any time it's supposed to get to about 90 degrees it's about 84 right now so hopefully it doesn't get too much hotter but without further ado further ado is that something people say i don't know i just made up my own words there we're gonna go and do that so beautiful day beautiful time so let's go and get some bass. okay so good news oh good news and bad news bad news is it's windy good news is the wind is pushing me where i want to go sorry i'm like two inches away from my face usually i have my tripod but i forgot it how did these kids get out here what are they doing well don't Matt, don't film kids anyway um i'm on my way so shouldn't be too long about 15 minutes there are spots i can stop and fish on the sides but when it gets later on in the evening i'll do that when i'm coming back right now i just want to get down there it's going to take me about 15 20 minute paddle so i will see you guys down there Okay, so as you can tell, I'm back here, but one issue is I've never been back here this late in the summer, and I did not think, usually there's hardly any water. You can see cliffs and stuff back there because it's five, six feet down from that. But that being said, I still think that there's gonna be some smallmouth stacked up at the mouth of that, waiting for some bugs and some grubs to come by. So got myself a nice little grub here from, I think this is a Lost Creek, just to, pretty cheap little setup but I've got just six pound test on here so if I hook into some biggies I might get freaking spooled this current is ripping right here so first cast of the day that's a lot of current right there so we'll see what happens in here I'm really not actually sure how well this is going to go I might have to like adventure back but um I know there's usually a lot of smallmouth in here so I'm just kind of jigging this up like you normally would. Just, oh, 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 just had a big one on. My gosh, okay. Well, that's promising for sure. I just had a big bite. I missed the hook set though. Anyway, this is gonna be fun, guys. I am ready for this. I'm gonna throw it more. Nobody back here today, too, so that's good. Oh my gosh, what have I done? Wrapped around the rod tip. Smart, dude. Um, I'm really kicking myself because I was going to change out my line. And I was just being lazy and completely forgot. And then didn't even think I was going to do a video today, so. Oh. There's one. Small little guy. First fish of the day, though. Yeah, this is gonna be nuts in this current. Oh my gosh, this is a small fish and he's fighting that hard in this current. Oh, there's another one chasing him. A couple of them chasing him. Nice little small mouth, first one of the day. Don't wanna get hooked, so I'm gonna be a wiener and use pliers. Cause I don't know where that hook is. Nice little fish. Good start. Um, anyway, I was gonna re-spool my line, but not a bad little starter fish right there. Awesome view. There it goes. Cool, first fish of the day, guys. Um, oh, what? Just weeds. 
Okay guys, I might explore a little bit more here. Maybe try to find a new spot to fish. I might walk up there and see what I can figure out. So, stay tuned. So this is why it's always good to have river shoes. Even when you're kayaking, you think you're gonna stay dry. It's nice to get out at spots. Um, basically what I'm looking for is, oh, that'll be fine. Yeah, there'll be bass still in there. Basically what I'm looking for is slower moving areas that have current still. And that there can be some bass just kind of sitting at the sides, kind of in some pools is what they're gonna be doing. So like something like this, it's a big undertow and that's a lot of current right there. But I'm still gonna see if maybe, just maybe there's something. And also over there, but it kind of eddies really crazy looking i'll say that it really does look awesome can't believe how warm this water is it's kind of just like pooled up over here it's like hot tub water because like i said we had some heat advisories this last week one day got up to 104 and there's people in arizona and las vegas and stuff in texas are probably like you wimp that's not even that hot but for me oh, it was brutal it was making me feel pretty sick so so let's see if there's something sitting over here. I don't want to stand too close, but I kind of have to. What the heck just happened? What? Dude, I can't tell if that's... I can't tell if that's something just randomly doing that to it. Or if that, I mean, is that a fish? Or is there something under there that that, like this, like this, like this, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a bass. That's a bass. Let's go. Let's go, that's a nice bass. Let's go, finally. This current though, guys. This current is killing me. Well, that's, it's a decent bass, it's a decent bass. It's nothing, nothing big. I thought it was a lot bigger because of that current, but. Hey, I'll take that all freaking day long. Let's go. That's not too shabby, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, let's go. I, I wanna get a picture of this one too. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Not nothing big, but okay. I'm gonna get a picture with him real quick. I'm gonna say that that was probably the fish that was in there. Was the one I just caught. Might have been the only one in there. Not really sure. Oh, something's in it. Something's in it. Something's in it. Got another one. This one feels better. This one actually feels better. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it might be better. Just this current, I can never tell this current. Gosh dang it. Ah, <laughs> that current is freaking crazy. I can't believe how strong that current is. Probably the same damn fish. Now this one's more of a bronze back than that last one was. Hey, not bad. It's been caught before. The lip is pretty ripped up. Looks a little bit bigger than that last one. No, about the same exact size. Probably the same fish. <laughs> Just kidding. No idea. Um, cool. Well, there's two out of that spot. So let's try to get another from that spot. They get weary about going too far out in the current. You can tell the bite will be just right on the edge of the bank. And then, uh, I'll notice when it goes out, it'll just quit hitting it. So that's gonna get him, guaranteed. Running it right by his nose right now. So there he is. There he is. Got him. Smaller, seems like. Eh, no, not smaller. Not the same size. Try to get him one of these pools like this right here so he's out of the current oh biggest one of the day football football smallmouth 
Little footy ball. Footy footy football. Dustin Hoffman. Meet the Fockers. Quit it. That's always a dangerous game to play. Fatty, fatty football. Little chunkster. Look at that belly. <laughs> Wonder what's eating. Oh shit, my bad. Sorry guys, that freaking, oh, that tore my thumb up. He got the roof of his mouth on me pretty good. Sorry for cussing mom and dad. Said a bad word. Hit it like 15 times. Okay, I gotta, gotta change jig heads. Matt, at some point you gotta fight the bullet and just say this one's done. That's how cheap I am. Look at that. Okay. Guys, so far, the mission has been successful, for sure. I also have a different color I'm gonna put on right now. Not the white ones. There they are. Gosh. Got a mess, I'm sorry. I like this color. Is it a little bit longer than the other ones, but deal. Where's that jig? So if you've never done one of these, basically you can measure it out, but I'm just too lazy to do that. So I just go literally go to the side of your weed guard straight in like that. This is a little bit longer, so I'm going to go like right here. And then, nope, I didn't go long enough. About right here. And then there's a guard up here that'll take it. That was pretty bad. Don't ever do anything I do, but that'll work. My drag's really loose right now. Let me fix that. Well, I'm having a blast, I'll be honest. I'm going back to this rock. This is where I was catching them all from. It's right here, I believe. Okay. It's pretty good. There he is. That's a pretty good one. That's probably the biggest of the day. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's gonna be the biggest of the day. For sure. Instant, guys. No, it's not. It's not the biggest of the day, but he sure smacked it. That's pretty long. They're stacked over there. I mean, there's probably 20 more just like that. He is barely hooked, so. Oh my gosh, look how he's hooked. Watch this. Okay, there he goes. I mean, I don't even know how I landed that fish. He was barely hooked in the side of the mouth. They're hungry too. I'm so glad this spot's producing because honestly I was getting a little bit worried that there was going to be no fish in this section down here. And I was going to be so sad, be like, no, there's usually fish. And I lied to everyone that there was fish in here. Got him. No, he spit it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna tighten my drag a little bit. I just don't want, it's only a six pound test and I think my line's kind of frayed. So that's kind of why I'm, I have it loose. I'm, I'm too much of a wuss. I, I listened to that cop. I lied. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Nice, that felt like a good one. I say that every time. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll get on the current, you stinker. Come on, stinker. Woo, yeah, that's not bad. This is not bad. This is not bad. Okay, dude, you're probably dead. I have my net. Where'd I put my net? 
I had my net. Where'd it go? <clears throat> Sorry guys for dropping that fish like that. I, I don't like doing that. I hope he's okay. Possibly concussed. Needs to go to the, the tent for concussion protocol. But okay, I'll just say I wasn't 100 percent Back to this rock, back to this point. I didn't like that cast, that was too far out. But I did say there was one like kind of out in the middle that I missed just a second ago. And there he is right there. Got him. Got him. Oh. 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 We got a jumper. We ain't got a jumper. Ooh, we got a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice pass. I don't know why it just sounded like I was from Minnesota right there. Okay, don't you do that. Cool. Nice pass. That's bass number seven, six, twelve, twenty? I don't know. That was a sick dive. Not gonna lie. Guys, I can't stop doing this. Okay, still here. Can't stop. Won't stop. Dang, that one, y'all. Sucks. Quit it, quit it, quit it. Can't feel. That's a bummer when that happens. I just lost a 25 pound smallmouth. The biggest smallmouth I ever caught out of this river is like a pound and a half. Nothing big. There's another one. Oh my gosh, just non-stop action, guys. <laughs> oh boy, this is so much fun though. Oh, 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 okay. Oh my gosh. Is he just in the current? Or is this big? No. Not big. These are literally all been the same size. Oh no, oh, bye, see ya, friend. That one was bigger. That was probably the biggest I've seen today. It was not as wide, but it was a potato. That was a full grown Idaho potato. Where is it? Where are you? Everyone's like, I want my turn getting pulled out of the river by a giant, there he is. I'm not really a giant. Well, to them I am. Oops. To you, I'm a giant. Not bad. Footy, footy football. This river is just littered. Absolutely littered with carp and sucker fish. Oh, that was a big hit. Oh my gosh. That yanked out of my hand almost. Goodness. Wow. Okay. There's still bass in there and they're still hungry. Jeez. There he is. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Decent one. I just, I can't believe how littered this spot is. It's just, they're stacked. I mean, they're just absolutely stacked in there. This current makes it nearly impossible to get these things up. Very nice little fish too. Probably gonna be the biggest one of the day actually. Yeah, this is probably gonna be the biggest one of the day so far. Nice fish. I don't know if this is the one that just freaking pounded me or not, but he's been caught before. He's got ribs up there. Thanks, buddy. Whew, okay. It is hot out here. So I just got on a changeable flash. No, that's not what this one's called. Can't remember what this one's called. Dry Creek Outfitters tube. They like the chartreuse green legs on that thing, so 
see if we can't pull out another nice fish. Oh. Instantly. And I mean instantly. <coughs> right when it hit the water over there, it was already off. Nice bass. Oh yeah. Nice fish. Now this is a true bronze back. Look at all that bronze on them. The other ones have been a little bit greener. This one looks like it might be like maybe an older fish. You caught before, I'll tell you that. Look at that. Lip is ripped up. You might want to change your diet up, buddy. Quit eating lures. Eat more bass food. Not as many lures. Nice little fish though. Not bad. Cool. There's one. That's it. That's unmistakable. That was a fish. And then it catches this current and starts ripping down this way. And that's a nice smallie. Not terrible. Foul hook? Oh no. I thought he was foul hook. He's not. Gosh dang it. That always just scares me. You can see that hook hanging out right there, so you're like, oh no. Should I grab him? Oh shoot. Okay, dude. Listen. That's not smart. There you go. Now, I'm gonna get the hook out of your mouth. And you're gonna swim free. It's all gonna be cool. It's all good, brother. Well, I'm trying to do what I told you I was going to do. Trust me. It's got a weird angle. It's really stinking hooked in there. I'm bad little fish. Jeez, that guy was freaking angry. I probably would be too if I had a hook sticking out of my mouth, but man. The anger from that one. Okay, guys, very successful um, walking back here. Besides that spot, let's go back to the waterfall area and see if we can't snag a couple out. Of, well, it's not snag, but catch a couple out of that area and then get my kayak, head home. It's been fun. Okay, guys. Um, so, unfortunately, well, it was an awesome day of fishing. Like. Even though uh, my GoPro died, is what I was gonna say, unfortunately. Um, my GoPro did die on me. I didn't realize that I had had like a few clips that were like 18 minutes long and my GoPro was running. So that was brilliant. But anyway, still a really fun day of fishing. Um, all that happened was I went back down. I walked a little ways down. I kept getting stuck, nothing happened. Went, uh, in the video you see, I go back to the other spot, get a couple more fish. And then I say I'm gonna go down to where I was when I first started at those rapids and stuff. Couldn't catch anything. So I went back, noticed my GoPro was dead, so I just went home, you know, I was tired. But solid day of fishing, and hope you guys really enjoyed that, and I'll keep making some bass fishing videos and other fishing videos coming up in the near future, so. Um, yeah, once the fall starts, it's gonna get really good fishing, trout and everything too, so. And walleye and perch, everything, so. Thanks guys for joining in to another 208 Angler video, and uh, tight lines.